hello everyone so i'm gonna be unboxing this tp link as you can see here it's the model we are going to unbox it I'm gonna unbox it. Open it. I'm gonna pull it. As you can see, this is what we got inside. We got the POE adapter. This thing can also use if you got a POE switch, you won't need this power injector here. Okay. Is the ceiling bracket? We got power card. We got screws. We're gonna mount this on the ceiling. Okay. Okay, because I got a POE switch here, as you can see here, this way you plug your POE switch, network cable, I got a POE switch here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug it straight here, now it should power on, as you can see here. Okay, so now we are going to do the configuration of this access point. You can use the app, it does have an app that called TP Link or Mada. So you can download the app or you can use your web browser to do the configuration, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, let's go to our computer. Remember, if you don't have a PoE switch, you're going to need the PoE power adapter that I show you now. Okay, let's go behind the computer. Now we are going to do our configuration. We are going to change the name of our network. Because right now, if you check... This is my network name, so I'm going to change this name, okay? So what you can do here, you can download this software here, okay? For Windows, you download this one here, AAP controller. When you download it, you install it. I got it already installed. I can open it from here. <coughs> As you can see here, initializing. <coughs> you can also use the mobile app.
go to Google Play on your Play Store. You just look for Omada. Okay. As you can see here, it have found my access point. This is the one here. Okay. I can just go next here. Next, next. Or oh, what I can do, I can just copy this IP address. Come here. Paste it. <laughs> and then log in. Okay. Alternatively, you enter this link. You enter this link here. But this is good when you plug your router to your computer. As you can see, it cannot find it. It didn't detect it. Okay. So what you can do here is to download the software. So you find the IP of your router. From here, you can log in. Or we can just use this one. It's up to you. Okay. I'm going to use this browser. Username is going to be admin. Password admin. Login. You can save it if you want to. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to ask you to set a new password, which is definitely safe. Okay. Username, I'm going to say admin. Password. I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to confirm the password. When you're done, you go next. Mm -hmm. Here, you are going to give your Wi Fi a name. This is, as you can see here, this is the 2.4 gigahertz and this is the 5 gigahertz. I'm going to call this one 2.4. I'm going to put my password here. The five gigahertz going to be five gigahertz. Mm -hmm. Okay. Double check. You can still reset the password in case if you forget it. And then I'm going to click save. It's going to apply. And it's done. I have connected Wi Fi. I can just click finish. And the configuration is done. Okay. I hope this video will help someone who is in need. Please don't forget to like it, share, and subscribe. Ciao.